And we're going to continue rolling through this round number one, heat number 15 with Mitch Kolber, Michael Dumphy, Luca Messinas, and Evan Valier out in the lineup. And the kiteboarders are there in the backyards region up the point at Sunset Beach, enjoying their afternoon. We're enjoying your, our afternoon. Thank you for joining us here on WorldSurfLeague.com as we take a look at Evan Valier on his opening ride. Again, uh, very accomplished at Sunset Beach. Comes from one of the outer islands, but he does know this wave very well. So you'd expect him to pick some good waves. Unfortunately, that one there did not double up, and here he is again. So Valier, actually he won out here in 2006 to this lineup. Really, that event kicks off this Vans Triple Crown season. Sure does. Here we go, Michael Dunphy off the bottom. And a nice hook off the top for Dunphy. Gets a little bit caught up there, but is able to go complete on that wave. Right behind him, this is going to be our first look at Mitch Colburn. Colburn with a nice easy snap, looking for more on the inside section. Looks to pull in, but the bottom drops out from underneath Colburn, and he just gets engulfed. Mitch Colburn sitting about 45th on the um, new era qualifying series rankings. Well, if he takes a win, he'd have to win this event. It would put him into 17 uh, five. 5 mark, and we hear that may be the cut line. We don't know until the yeah, final heat. Until everyone, yeah, until everyone uh, finishes up. Take a look at the replay here. Nice clean wall, and uh, looking for that barrel section. I mean, that's one of the things that happens. You, <laughs> you watch a heat previous to you, and guys are getting shacked. You want to do it too, and sometimes the wave just calls for it. Sometimes it doesn't. Take a look at this section here. It looked like there was going to be an opportunity to pull in, but realizing that it wasn't going to give an exit, so he uh, he didn't have enough wave to utilize a bottom turn, so no speed left. Evan Valier, he's got a nice sunset act. Let's see what he's got here. Nice hook off the top, straight to the bottom. Take the little line there. Hits the lip again. Can he stand up through that? Goes into layback position and just gets beat up by the white water. Thought he had that. So smooth in transition. You see he engages rail to rail. Luca Messinas. We saw him kind of with a false start, but doing better work in this second wave. But he gets caught up as the wave gets pretty jumbly as it hits the deep water in the channel. I'll take a look at some replays here, but you know, what I'm saying about what we saw from Evan Valier, and maybe a little bit in contrast to Luca Messinas, so we'll get to kind of see this. We'll first take a look at Evan, and of course on that back end, engaging the rail on the back end, bottom turn, straight to the top turn, toe edge, back to the heel edge, toe edge. See how that transition's so smooth. Judges want to see that, that's part of the flow. Again, heel edge right in the maneuver, straight back to that heel edge. There's no shifting of back and forth to it. I think the judges like to see that, just engaging the rail for long periods of time. Lucas here, you got Luca. Just didn't have the ability to do that. You can see the board not engaging the rail, kind of chattering here and there. And that's where you want to really kind of establish that flow, sink that rail. All still searching for waves. Here's our heat recap. All ready to the recap. This heat is flying by. Of course, uh, right now, that surfer in blue is in second position, has a 4-3-3. Just one wave has kept him in second place. So it shows how quickly these heats can blow by, and all of a sudden, you're not even riding a wave. Your heat leader, Evan Valier, engaging the rail with a 3.5 and a 1.83. Again, low scores, has him out front. No one's safe. It really comes down. Mitch Colburn easily get one wave and move into the top position as well as Luca Messinas. Off the reef for the tide. Mitch Colburn. Nice hook off the top for Colburn. Wave's going to stand up a little bit more on the inside section here. Looks it again. Beautiful second turn. Gets up in the lip again. Smooth tempo for Mitch Colburn. So score that. And uh, that's just what was on order for the powerful Australian goofy foot. Well, it doesn't need much. Uh, you know, a three, just over a three, three and a half will get him into the lead. And at this point in the heat, that's going to be uh, just enough. And I think he'll even probably surpass that three easily. As uh, these two snaps here, beautiful hook. Again, nice pace and tempo like you had mentioned. So that little two-turn combo most likely will be enough, probably be rivaling the, the best wave of the heat. 
Here's the in-water view. Again, see how he compresses off the bottom to explode into the maneuver. A little different type of angle and approach as he carves through the maneuver, the second maneuver, giving some variety, and there it is. 5-8-3, puts Colburn in the lead. Evan Valier drops to second. Michael Dumphy now in third place, and Dumphy taking a look at that wave with priority. Didn't make a concerted effort for it, so I believe he's going to keep his first priority. Just took a peek over the ledge. Of course, we have a priority judge that keeps all eyes on the water just for the surface positioning. Here we go with Michael Dunphy. Coming off the bottom, carves off the top, gets a little snap, a little extra release there. Just the one turn for Dunphy. Well, we remember his last wave was just one maneuver as well. Luca Messinas, a Peruvian competitor. Nice turn off the top, and Luca just decides to straighten out and pencil dives off the rear of his board, not to lose any more space in the lineup and make a quicker paddle out. Again, picking up a wave, sets up the one maneuver. And the wave will shut down on him. And, I mean, in this heat right now, I mean, Dumpy could easily make it out of here with basically two maneuvers. His first wave with a 4-3-3. And his second wave, the score's in, puts him into second. Yeah, slow motion view of this 3.17 for Dumphy, enough to put him into second. Gets some release, compresses in the lip, comes out. But again, nothing. So he didn't get combination of major maneuvers there. Of course, that reflects in the 3.17, just the one turn. And then similar to Luca, this wave shuts down on him. The lower tide stretches that line out and uh, makes it a little bit more difficult to find that open face. Evan Valier got a wave as well. Let's check out the replay, Peter. Well, he's trying to improve on that 1.83. And if he can get a couple maneuvers done without falling, I think he's done it. So he's going to move back into second position. Oh, look at that. Vertical finish in the channel. The last moment that he had some vertical face there, he times it perfectly. There you go. I mean, what a finish. Once again, very exciting all the way to the end. You know, Duffy was getting an opportunity here. He's trying to move to that inside, but not enough time. It's over. It's over. So Evan Valier moves on. Mitch Colburn moves on. The two Goofy Foots are going to find their way into round number two here at the Vans World Cup of Surfing. We're going to be back with the last heat of this round. Stick around because the young guns are coming up. Seth Moniz, Baron Mamiya, Finn McGill versus Mitch Cruz all coming your way.